What's up, guys? It's me at Games, and welcome back to another episode of the Xenoverse. Last time we played as Cell Saga Vegeta, which all, honestly that was one of my favorite videos. Just you know, all the fights were really good and lit. I don't think I lost a fight in that video. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. And like, I had like so many comebacks and stuff. Like I was really Vegeta that video. Like, and it's just the way I was like finishing people off, and it was, it was just so good. And then like editing was fun, like putting together the clips with Vegeta, like. I just love that video so much. Even though it was like shorter, I didn't intend for it to be that much shorter than all the other videos, but it was shorter. Still was really good though. But today we're moving on to the next Vegeta, which this one it's going to be kind of weird how I have to do it because like you know, well like I said there's like a lot of presets of Vegeta, so I'm going to have to like since I'm doing it in order, I have to like jump around weirdly, which I don't think I've had to do this with a character yet. Like I don't think I did this I had to do it with Goku. Cause, well, you'll just see when I get it, but I'll explain it. Okay, so we found a room with Iden, Iden you, Iden you. I don't know, but yeah. So last time, and I like, I think I mentioned this in the last video also. But if you look at the picture of Vegeta, I think it's really cool how literally the picture they use isn't even the first preset of Vegeta. It's literally the Cell Saga Vegeta. So like, they know that this is the most iconic Vegeta. But today we're moving on to Boo Saga Vegeta. Now here's the thing that I was talking about that's weird, right? Is so first we're gonna go with this Vegeta. And then we're going to jump over to Majin Vegeta. And there's a, oh, let me get back. Oh, this one. Okay, yeah. And there's, a, there's a reason for that. I'll explain it once we get to Majin Vegeta. But, yeah, I'm going to have to jump to Majin Vegeta next. Oh, wow. Look at that. Vegeta versus Vegeta at the Tournament of Power at the top arena. But, yeah, look at that. Vegeta versus Vegeta. Now, I don't know. It's kind of weird, at least in my opinion, to see Vegeta in, like, the, out, like, the outfit of the, the Boo Saga clothes. Because... He stopped wearing them after the Boo Saga. Like in Super, he just started wearing, you know, the, the clothes that that Vegeta has. Like, the, instead of wearing the Cell Saga clothes again, I didn't understand why. I think it was just more like iconic, I guess. I, I think maybe like more people just liked the Cell Saga clothes than because it had like the armor and stuff. I don't know. But like, it was just really weird that Vegeta just kind of dropped this outfit completely. He's like, yeah, I don't really like this. I need my armor or, or something. I don't really know why. But. Yeah, I don't know. I just found I've always found that weird that he just kind of dropped this outfit completely. But I mean, Cell Saga outfit's really good, so I'm not complaining. But still, I don't know. I just found it weird. But yeah, I, I don't know. It's just interesting, I guess. But oof, oof. Oh, and I could become dead. But that's not gonna kill. The prominence flash doesn't do that much yet. Let's use it a few times. That might kill though. That moves really good. Almost killed. Pretty much killed. Unless he like messes up a lot right now. There's no way that he can lose. To be honest. Like I said, he has to mess up a lot. Okay, he still grabbed me. Oh, gee, he slammed me into the ground. Alright, so. Gotta do another. Oh, actually, now that I remember. I did lose one round in the last video. Yeah, I lost I lost one. I, rem I remember now. But most of the rounds. I didn't lose. Anyways, moving on. Uh, we're not moving on. We're playing another round with this Vegeta. So okay. Now we're fighting against Blue Vegeta. So he just transformed, basically, is what I'm hearing. So, yeah, let's just hop straight in, you know? Be fun. Come at me for real, is what Vegeta said. Oh! But yeah, you see how he's, like, still not even wearing... Now, one thing I did like, though, I really like the Resurrection F outfits for Goku and Vegeta. Because it was just, like... Something completely new. It's their Whis training outfit. Like, how did that hit me? Come on, it was ten years away. I had to do big man hit that. Why do that? But yeah, it was. Just, it, I just like that they had like original outfits. But then they went back to their normal outfits, which they still look good, honestly. My, right now, my favorite. I, I would say my favorite outfits for Goku Vegeta, which are not canon. The well, first of all, I really like the Zeno clothes, but I think that right now the most I like the. It's also from Heroes, you know, the normal. Goku Vegeta outfits, like not the Xeno ones, but the other Goku and Vegeta. Those, those outfits, I really like because it's like a mixture of their whiskey. Especially Goku's, like I love his. It's like a mixture of their whiskey. And their, oh, okay, I'm dead. It's like a mix of their whiskey and their normal clothes, and I think that's like really cool. Like I don't know, I I, I just really like that outfit. So yeah, but all right, we're gonna go into the next round. So let's just keep going. Alright, now we found a new room with Rosie Wu. Rosie Ubu. Okay, well. <laughs> what? Rosie Ubu. Okay, but. Yeah, so we're just gonna hop in with the next Vegeta. And we're fighting Kaito. The, ooh, hold on. I kinda like that character design. 
kind of cool. He's got like the turnip on his back. Okay, like that. That's kind of fire, actually. I really like that character design. Not gonna lie, I think it's really good. Sad it's our race of warriors. Is he gonna let me charge though? Oh, not cool. now we gotta beat him. Now we gotta beat him just for that. Come here. Here, Rosie Woo Woo. What's wrong, Rosie Woo Woo? Grab him. That, there we go. Oh, you know what I just realized? I haven't even transformed in this video yet. Ah. Alright, well, let's go. Super Vegeta. Two, wait. No. Up. Up. Wanted to become Super Vegeta 1 first. Then 2. Uh, hit him with the bang right after. Oh no. Whoa. Super Vegeta 1. Honestly, I like the way Super Saiyan looks with this outfit more than base. To be, like, from being honest. Whoa, what the heck is that range on that grab? Grabbing from across the map. Okay. Oh, come on. How did he block that? How did what? Huh? Ah, he hit me from my phone. What? What language am I speaking? I don't know how he just hit me from like 10 years away. What? Oh, huh? I was literally blo- Huh? I was blocking! Came on some bull sometimes. Like I was a hunt- I was blocking, literally. And still got my stamina broken. Ow. How does that happen? I have no idea, but- Oh, I messed up the combo. Oh. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Stamina still. Ah, oh, come on. And I knew he was going to go for the grab, too. Well, well, that was the last round with this Vegeta. You know, he got beat up, so now he's going to have to gain some extra power. moving into Majin Vegeta. Now, the reason I had to go with Majin Vegeta next is because if you, like, chronologically, this is an ex-Vegeta, like, like, considering the show. First, it was Boost Saga Vegeta, right? Then it was Majin Vegeta. Like, because because I, I looked at all the presets of Vegeta before just to make sure I was doing it in the right order. And yes, technically, Majin Vegeta counts as also Boost Saga Vegeta because it's all the same saga. Just, you know, this is Majin Vegeta. So, yeah, it, it technically... This is the Vegeta from like, Blue Saga. So this would technically be the next Vegeta. Just I just threw it in here because, you know, it's only four presets. Like, there's only the two Maj Vegeta ones and then the two Blue Saga Vegeta ones. But I wanted to play them in order. So if I were Maj Vegeta right now, because technically this one would come next. Like, it, if it was all like one character slot, this one should come next. But if you, You'll know once we get to the back to the Blue Saga Vegeta why. But... Right now, like, like I'll explain it all once we actually go on to Busan Vegeta. But right now, this is the Vegeta that we need. Oh, come on, you got me with the grab. Gotcha. Oh, okay, that hit. I thought I could do it fast enough. To do this. Oh, almost hit him. This Bardock just got so much stamina. He, he's picking characters with like tons of stamina. Runs when he's low on it. Uh oh, this could be bad. That was the stamina break. I have a feeling he does. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, come on. I know stamina break. Oh, I don't. Never mind. Perfect block it. Ha! Huh! Okay. Perfect block that. Oh, it's not gonna kill. It almost did. I'm definitely dead though. Here. No, no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, not if I barely can. I'd be like, ah! Oh, come on, come on. I, I was trying to step vanish behind him, but 
Didn't that work? Well, we just gonna have to keep going, you know? We still got more rounds to do. We still got more rounds. It's fine. We'll bring it back. Bring it back. Now, oh, look at who it is. OG Nutbone again. Okay, I swear. I always keep fighting the same people. But look, we got OG Nutbone back in here. I think I fought him in the Frieza Saga Vegeta video. I'm pretty sure. But look at that. We got the boy OG Nutbone back in here. Okay, but yeah, now we're going back in again with Prince of Destruction Vegeta. And yeah, oh, we're fighting Goku. Oh, hold on. This might be lit. Speaking of Goku, uh, did y'all peep the thumbnail for this video? Like, literally, that thumbnail, one of my favorite photo mode screenshots I've ever taken. Just, oh my god. I Like, it's, it just looks so cool. I just love it. But I think we got, like, what, two more rounds of this Vegeta or something? Yeah. Well, I'll do two more rounds just in case. But, well, I meant two, including this one. So, like, one more after this, technically. But, yeah, I, I kind of want to let him transform. Honest, but I know he don't do that. I remember fighting him. He did not let me transform. And his pack's name is OG Mudbone. I remember you. I remember you. You were in a video. Ooh. But hey, it's iconic. I know. I know. Ah! Oh, come on. I didn't hit him all the way. Big bang. Bang attack. Oh, almost got him. Oh, come on. I, I knew that was coming too, and I was trying to block, but I didn't. Yeah. Didn't he play as Goku in the video that I fought him with? Too? That I fought him with? Yeah, I fought him with the video. No, the video I fought him in. Didn't he also play as Goku there? Oh, Super Saiyan 2. Oh, look. Oh, perfect. That's iconic, iconic. Now he's Super Saiyan 2, so it's literally the exact fight. Oh my god, this feels like a dry, like a Goku vs. Maj Vegeta right now. It's just what I'll tell Speaking of this, I am so ready for this fight. Kakarot. Like, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, I am ready to hit this point. Boost Hog is going to be so fun in Kakarot. Um, huh? Okay. What just happened? Xenoverse. Net code. No. I think he was teleporting so much, he broke the net. You know, he broke the already broken net code. Come here. Come here. Wait, what? Huh? How did he... He didn't have stamina. What? How did he just use it to an evasive with no stamina? How does that even work? Oh, come on, I messed it up. The combo I was trying to do. The stamina break. He didn't. There we go. There it is. <gasps> final flash! You know, Majin Vegeta did actually do final. Why is that? What are you doing? Come on, what are you doing? He. Yeah, waste of stamina, I do. But, yeah, Final Vegeta, Majin Vegeta actually did technically do Final Flash. I mean, I don't know if that was just a dub only line or something, but he actually did Final Flash. It was weird, though. It wasn't, like, exactly like Final Flash, like we're used to, but it, it was, he said Final Flash, so I guess it's Final Flash. Oh, no, this could be bad. Lousy! Oh, that, yeah, I think it's a kill. Yep. I don't even get, how did my Final Flash miss earlier? I don't know, but... I'm gonna do one more just in case I don't I don't remember how many more rounds we were supposed to do. So I think it's just one more and then we move on to the next preset of Vegeta. So let's just hop in. Now I've got Vegeta versus Trunks, father versus son. And look, we're all we're both Well, never mind. He's all beat up. Let's say we both got full clothes on, but he's beat up, so. Alright. Oh, and we're in hell, this makes sense. You know, considering I'm Majin Vegeta. So. I did not be proud. Why? Take those back. Take those back. Let me show you how it's done. Got him. Oh, that was smart. That was lit. Why did Vegeta's back break though? What the heck? When he did that, Vegeta's back was like snap. I know I was not the only one who saw that. Oh, I could have punished that so hard. That stamina break. Like this. Now we can go for the final flash. I know. Flash! Ooh, that did a lot, too. Oh, I thought it was going to hit. Ha! Got him. <laughs> there you go. Atomic blast. Hmm. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, we transformed. I didn't even notice that. Flash. We clashing. All right. No, I did not mean to do Big Bang. That's bad. Oh. 
Come on. Come on now. Oh, it's still hitting. Well, I, I didn't realize. Cause don't, weren't you able to go? How did I? How, why did I let that happen? What am I doing? Why did that happen? Why was that allowed? Come on. Okay, I'm playing real sloppy right now. What's going on? Let's, br let's bring it back. I'm not about to... Oh, yeah, you done. What's up now? I want to kill him with Atomic Blast, to be honest. Woo! Okay, that's lit. That is lit. Okay. Kill him with Atomic Blast. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Okay, so now we're moving in. The second preset of Majin Vegeta. You know, we're all ripped up. And this is the iconic one. So let's just go. Let's hop straight in. And there's a reason why this one's the iconic one. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I really like this because we both start off as Super Saiyan. Well, he gets to transform, but we're both already Super Saiyans. Ooh, that's kind of lit. Hold on. But, um, yeah, we're both already Super Saiyans, which is really cool. And we're at the Cell Games. I mean, this is technically Boo Saga Vegeta, so it's like eons past the Cell Games, but I forgot he doesn't charge. But, yeah, just, yeah, we're at the Cell Games, so it's and yeah, we get both star. Honestly, I don't know why they don't have base team Gohan though. I mean, I guess he didn't, he didn't really fight in base, is why. But still, it'd be, it'd be cool just have him, have him in the game, you know. I mean, he's modeled in the game because there's a cutscene where he like, you know, when he like falls down and does the thumbs up. He does the thumbs up to like after after he beats Cell. Yeah, that like that's modeled in the game. It's just you know they have they don't make it playable. Oh, energy wave. Okay, but Kelly go with that atomic blast last time was lit. It was so lit. <sighs> okay. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna let let him do his damage. You know, let him do his thing. There, I got my stamina back. I was just going for stamina back, honestly. Ah, I think he knows what I'm trying to do, too. How did that hit? That, that little tiny kick is not a hit. Way back. Got him. I was literally hitting him. There you go. Ooh, okay, That even though not all of them hit, it still looked really cool. Senko mode. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry for going quiet. I'm just like trying to focus, paying attention to my stamina. I'm paying. Ooh, got him. That perfect block. Back up. Back. Oh, come on. How did he hit me twice? Okay. Just Cause, okay, my, my problem is I'm trying to do a thing, but it's just like. Oh, here we go. It's time. Finish him off like this. Perfect. Yeah! Oh come on! He got his stamina back just in time. Come on! Back up! I can't, come on! He got his stamina back like barely in time. Seriously? Ah, oh, like I really wanted to finish with final explosion. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh, really? That okay. Well, we're gonna do another round with Majin Vegeta. I'm gonna get that final explosion finish. Like, I, I don't care. I'm getting it. I'm getting that finish. So let's go. Yeah. See, my thing was with oh Broly now. Okay, but my thing was last time I was trying to be I was trying to be like extra careful with my stamina, so that way I could get the final explosion off. But but I think Broly has like a lot of stamina, so we should be fine. As long like if I could do it with full stamina, that's the thing though. It's hard to be able to get the move off. But, like especially final explosion with full stamina, like it's just hard to do. So that that's why. But he has like a pretty good amount of stamina. I think it's like the same amount as me basically. But yeah, it's just hard to pull that off correctly. So I'm trying to I'm trying to like figure out how I can do it without you know wasting all my because because I, I don't want to waste all my stamina. But some sometimes I have to use some stamina up to like teleport and all that. I think I. Can 
on. He's gonna do that. Oh, come on, he got me with the grab. Come on now. Jeez, that bro bro is strong in this game, Jesus. Come stop. The what? That kicked the range! Oh my god. There's no way I'm gonna be able to finish him. Bro, okay. Well we got another round still. I might even just do more rounds until I get that final explosion. Because I'm getting I'm getting the final explosion off. Like I don't care. It's gotta happen. So Yeah, let's just go back in with Majin Vegeta. Once more. And try to get off that final explosion. It's gonna happen. I gotta do it. That, that's my thing is like I'm trying to be extra careful with my stamina, because that move takes up stamina to use. So I'm trying to be like super careful with it, but like, jeez, it's not easy. <laughs> it is not easy to like be careful with your stamina while trying to fight at the same time. Like, it's definitely difficult, but gonna try it. So yeah, and we got Adult Gohan this time. So yeah, let's just go. Which is whoa, wow. Come at me for real. Why does he always start off? What's, what you doing? What you doing, my man? He keeps picking him like. Ultimate Gohan's really good in this game. I remember I used him in the video and did really good with Ultimate Gohan. Because Ultimate Gohan. It's Gohan. No Gohan in this game. Really good. Not gonna lie. Oh, I thought he flew straight into it. Whoa, what you doing? I don't know how his burst rush didn't go off, but I'll take it. I block. Come on. Come on. I'm going to click the block button. E okay, that works. Ah! Ah! Oof, oof, oof. Wow, okay, that, that looked really weird. Like, he didn't have an aura, but still hit me with that somehow. Come on, these false hate confirms. Come on, Xenoverse. Hey, hold up. Oh, oh. E Come here. Oh come on! I keep messing up the combo. No, the stamina break combo. With Vegeta, like I know, I know it's like X and then Y, but I keep doing that the Y at the wrong time. It's like that. Yeah, that that's like a stamina break combo that works really well with Vegeta. Oh come on! I better not lose right now. I'm gonna lose, aren't I? Oh my. Okay, we're doing another round. Like I have to do the final explosion with Majin Vegeta. I can't just give up. This video might be kind of long, but it's like I'm getting that final explosion. I don't care gonna happen so all right now we oh come on really blue goku did, it, did he do this was he the one who did this the last time pick blue goku i don't know if it was him but someone picked blue goku against a, me when i was cell saga vegeta last video like come on it come on you, you know that you're just playing cheap if you just if you just pick it blue goku against like maja vegeta like come on you know the comparison there isn't even like it's not comparable is what i'm saying just because especially just in this game, Blue Goku's a good character. I'm not even just talking about like the form. I'm talking about in this game that he's just a way better character. Because he's just literally just broken in this game. So, but the thing is though, this is the perfect round for me to get final explosion. Because if I break his stamina, that's that's staying broken. So, yeah, this stamina gonna stay broken if I break it. So it's gonna be broken, broken. Okay, I'll let you do that. He didn't even do the second burst. So whatever. Come on. Come on, those helicopter like lousy. That time he did the second. Burst. <sighs> oh my god! Oh my god! Not mean to go first stamina break. I almost did. Oh, okay, this is getting intense. But if I could just get off one stamina break, and I'll be set. No! Come on, so close. Come on, this isn't even the stamina break. Oh. 
we go. His stamina keeps barely coming back. I better not. Please. His stamina keeps like barely coming back when I'm doing the co- Whoa! Okay. This time it won't go. Or it can, it can just miss. Okay. I thought that that worked for Heavy Break. I guess not. <gasps> no! Come on! <laughs> I just want the final explosion. Ah, oh, I, I have to. I can't. I can't not do a final explosion. Oh, oh. This, I might cut out a few rounds because I want to get the final explosion off, but I don't want the video to be extra long. So I'm going to probably cut a few of these rounds. But just come on. I, don't, I just want the final explosion. Come on. And right, now we've got Vegeta versus Vegeta. So let's hop straight in. All right, we got Vegeta versus Vegeta. Use his own strategy against. Them. There we go. Okay, so this should be interesting. At least he's not Blue Goku. Like, come on, you know, he was being dirty picking Blue Goku. Like, you can't tell me you're picking Blue Goku to balance it out. Like, unless I'm using like Blue Goku or Ultra Instinct or something broken like that, you cannot tell me you're trying to pick Blue Goku to balance out a fight with Majin Vegeta. Like, come on, not in Xenoverse. Fighters, maybe, but except, you know, Majin Vegeta is not in fighters. But I'm saying picking Blue Goku and fighters to balance things out, maybe. But Xenoverse, nah, you just beat. Don't even lie. Like, you know. Yeah, I'm definitely going to cut out a few rounds, though, because we still have another preset. So, like, going to cut out a few of those rounds just to, you know, get the final explosion off, basically. I don't I meant to block. And that broke my stamina. Cool. I might die because of this. If I actually die, I'm going to cry. I'm just kidding. Not really. Okay, cool. Let's hit me with that. Oh, you're an idiot. What? It, it, oh, my God. I'm so mad that that just hit. That literally just hit me. Okay. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Is this the one? Is this finally drugs? Bulma. I do this for you, and yes, even for you, Kakarot. Ah, oh, it's so close. Almost finished him. Uh, at least I got it off, though. If I can still win the round after getting it off, then I'm fine. Woo! Let's go! Atomic Blast! Okay, perfect round. Perfect round right there. Okay. I might cut out... I don't know. I'm definitely cutting out of her. Oh! my god that was perfect that was amazing that was okay that right there all those losses were worth it just for that just for that right there that way that ended oh my god all right we got another preset of vegeta to go through though now now i can finally explain after like what half an hour that the reason that we went to maja vegeta and now we're going back down is because look this vegeta is dead so it's after the final explosion so this was the one that was in fusion reborn too if i remember correctly but yeah, this Vegeta's dead, so that's why it had to be after Majin Vegeta, because, you know, he was alive, then got possessed, became Majin, Veg Majin Vegeta, and then now he's dead, because after the final explosion. So that's why I did it in that order. It, 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 I know it's like some weird jumps, but whatever. Vegeta versus Vegito in hell. Let's go. But, holy, okay, just, Jesus. But... But, yeah, so let's just hop straight in. And this makes sense. Okay, you know what thing I never understood in Xenoverse, like in this game? Sp yeah, specifically Xenoverse 2, is there's this part in the game where literally this Vegeta, Boo Saga Vegeta, base form, one shot, like does a final flash and murders villainous Janemba. Like, not just Janemba, villainous Janemba. You know, the stronger, more powered up version of Janemba. This Vegeta just one shots him like it's nothing with a final flash in base. Like, he wasn't Super Saiyan. Uh, super, he wasn't Super Saiyan, wasn't Super Saiyan 2, nothing. He had no f transformation. He managed to one-shot freaking um, Janemba. Like, how? You're, you're Vegeta. Like, base Vegeta. That. Just, it didn't make any sense to me. I've never understood why or how that was possible, but it was, apparently. So, just, it made no sense. And it still doesn't make sense. Honestly, I feel like they just kind of rushed that part. 
Because I, th I think they just needed, like, Janemba to die somehow. And, you know, Vegeta was the only character. But they could have at least made him, like, transformed. But no, it was just base form Vegeta bodying Janemba, like, nothing. And I'm just like, huh? That doesn't make any sense. It, it doesn't make any sense. So I don't understand why they wrote that like that. Honestly, it felt kind of rushed. Because it's just like, how is base Vegeta over here slapping Janemba? When, like... Literally, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, in the actual movie, couldn't even mess with normal Super Janemba. There's no way base Vegeta would have killed villainous Janemba. Like, what? Just, what? which Vegeta? What kind of base Vegeta is this? Just, don't know. It didn't make any sense. I want to go Super Saiyan 2. The Saiyan Prince Vegeta! There we go. Oh, oh, it'd be bad. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I tried it. I, I really just tried it. There we go. Jump to the side. Shine Shot's a good move. You jump to the side like this. Hit him. Why did he waste his stamina like that? And did he really go for a stamina break? I should have punished that instead of going for Shine Shot. Oh, but okay, the only problem with Shine Shot is you get left wide open. Oh, oh, come on. I, I wanted to I wanted to go for the stamina break. It did not work out that way. Unfortunately. Ooh, this could be bad. For oh, 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 no! Come on, it was so close. Come on. Alright, well. Still got more rounds with this Vegeta. But geez, this Vegeta is taking some abuse in this video, which I mean. I mean, yeah, it's Vegeta. What do you expect? But, just, jeez, this is nothing. Like, the, just, jeez. All right, anyways, though. Hopping in to the next Vegeta. Oh, now it's Vegeta versus Goku again. Except he's not dead, so it's not canon. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, let's go. Kakarot. I don't know. I, I tried a perfect block. Time time the perfect blocks that I meant, but I didn't get it off. I forgot that a lot of evasives only take two bars of stamina. I was like, oh, you just wasted three whole bars, and I only saw two gone. And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, that, that looked like it was a direct hit, but it didn't count. Oh, come on. That should have hit. And he teleported somehow. But it's all right. So good. Ooh, got him. Oh, I can connect Final Flash. Oh, he got out of it. And he hit me. Wow. Okay, from the side. Get off me. Don't try to do that. Anyway, as soon as I saw the instant transmission, I knew what he was going. For. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Oh, I, I, if I would have moved. Ah, oh, I'm dead almost. Let's I pull something here. Oh, okay. Wow. He somehow just hit me for 10 years. <sighs> okay. Well, we're just going to keep going. One more round. And then we're done. I got a lot cut out of this video. Jeez. But, yeah, one more round. One more round. All right, now we got Vegeta versus Goku again, and he's still not dead. Come on, and then we're in space now. I think he's just doing random maps, but yeah, we're in space. We gotta pull one victory with this. Vegeta. If we get a win with this Vegeta, we got at least one win with each preset. Well, each. Oh well, I don't think we got a win with this, the first Majin Vegeta, but it was still a Majin Vegeta. So we got we got a win with each Vegeta: Live Vegeta, Majin Vegeta, Dead Vegeta. We got one win with each one if we can beat him right here. So this is the one that counts more, the most. We gotta, we gotta get it. We gotta get it. We are fighting Kakarot, though. So it won't be easy. The clown is strong. He might be a clown, but he's powerful. Go ahead with that. Don't know why I just hit him with that. I guess for the damage. I don't know. It's just from free damage, basically. I don't know why he keeps going for that. Like, it's so obvious that that's exactly what you're going to go for each time you do that. Like, come on. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Ka I'm gonna lose right now, aren't I? Oh, that's it. Oh. Alright. Gotta end off the video now. I can't make it too long. That was three rounds with dead Vegeta, so... I mean, we at least got a win with Watch Vegeta with final... Well, I mean, it wasn't a final explosion, but we got the final explosion off. That's all I care about. So, we're gonna go end off the video now. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you slap a like, a comment, and make sure you subscribe. Um... So for the comic question of the day for Kakarot, what are you most excited about in the game? Like, are you most excited for Boo Saga? Which fight? Let, let's go with that. Which fight are you most excited for? So you know, Goku versus Maj Vegeta, Vegito versus Buhan. Like, what? What you most excited for? Um, uh, me, I don't know. I'm honestly, I'm ready for all the fights. Like, they're all looking like a snack. So, yeah, but. That's pretty much it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And until next time, or make sure you drop this video in your favorites if you liked it that much. And until next time, peace. Have a good day, boys.